Hello everyone, this is Mr. Help. Uh, now the question is asking what x values make the function greater than zero. And again, remember that really just means that y values are greater than zero. So what x values give you y values that are greater than zero? In other words, positive. Well, we saw in the previous question, all of these points down here have y values that are below the x-axis. The y values are negative. The, all of these points up here and all of these up here have y values that are positive. So again, the question though is which x values get you y values that are positive? So all these x values out here, right? Negative 8, I get a big positive. Negative 9, big positive. Negative 100, big positive. All these x values when you plug them in are giving you positive y values, right? Negative 6 and 7, negative 7 and negative 15, or 15, sorry, positive, positive, positive. Right, all these x values here give you positives. Now they go negative in here, so we don't want those. But then the x's here give you positives again, right? All these x values here, so 2 gives you a positive, and 3 gives you a positive, and 4 gives you a positive, and so on. And so there's two different intervals where the x values that you put in get you y values that are positive. And that's what this question is asking for. When is the function's output, f of x, or y, greater than zero? And so it's two different intervals. It's all the numbers from negative infinity to negative five, right? So that represents all of those. Union, unite that with, we union, hopefully you remember that symbol U just as the union. It's just joining two different sets together as one. Uh, so we're going to join that together with all of these numbers, which are all the numbers where the x value is from 1 to infinity. And so that is our final answer. Thanks. That's all for now.